hello friends welcome to my youtube channel skill forum so from today onwards i will be starting a new training session of sap sales and distribution in s4 hana so in the entire playlist i will be uh, start uh, covering all the sap sales and distribution processes with the end-to-end -end configuration and end-to-end -end business process okay so still if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that whenever i upload my new videos you will get notification okay let's start so uh, in this uh, video we will be understanding uh, the basic background of sap sales and distribution okay so first we'll see what is sap uh, sd so sap sd stands for sap uh, that is a sales and distribution where we used to handle uh, entire sales process and distribution process of an organization so next sap sales and distribution is an important module of sap erp consisting of business processes required in uh, selling shipping building of a product so basically uh, sap sd deals with the selling process shipping process and building process of an organization so next see the basically the uh, the sap sd module is tightly integrated with sap mm and uh, sap uh, pp basically so the sd module is integrated with the procurement process as well as the production process so that we can do uh, the sales and distribution process so key sub modules of sap sd are customer uh, master data vendor master data sales data delivery data billing data pricing data and credit management okay so next the sap sd works along with the other modules like we have uh, sap finance and controlling where we used to handle the financial activities then we used to uh, work along with the sap procurement part that is sap mm then um, we will have to work along with the quality management so that before uh, shipping to the uh, product to the customer we will have to check the quality of the product so we are going to work along with the quality management product uh, as well then we will be working on production planning process basically it, it helps us to uh, check the availability of the material before confirming the sales order with the customer so then we will be dealing with the plant maintenance then we'll be dealing with the warehouse management where we used to do all the sales and distribution process in an organization so next we'll understand the major features of sap sd module so here are some important features i have listed out uh, where we have uh, most important features of sap sd module so price and taxation so it helps to evaluate the price of the goods and services under various conditions like a rebate or discount which is granted to a customer so basically whenever we are doing a sales it helps us uh, to maintain the pricing of a product and what are the uh, tax we have to maintain for the particular uh, sales okay so then how we are going to work uh, one of the major, most important feature uh, that is availability check uh, the checking the availability of the product in an organ in the warehouse of an organization basically when we used to uh, create the sales orders in sap sd process so we used to check the availability of the material so that we can do the sales we can do further sales order process in an organization so then billing and invoice so it helps us to generate bills or invoices against the customers so then material determination basically it helps to determine the details of the material on the basis of certain conditions so credit management so it is one of the major module a major uh, a feature we can say in sap sd module where we used to handle the credit limits of the customer uh, it can figure out uh, figured uh, into two different ways simple credit check and automatic credit check so before uh, creating a sales order while creating the sales order it, it basically it used to check uh, the credit uh, management so account determination basically uh, this is also one of the major uh, and uh, we can say the important feature of sd module 
so it helps to determine uh, the details of the customers on the basis of given condition types so all these things we'll see practically in sap uh, s4 hana server okay so we'll execute all these processes so then we'll see sap sd module components so basically so individual uh, the specific module will be having specific uh, uh, components like uh, sap mm will be having its own SA, uh, components fico is having its own components pp is having its own component okay qm is having its own component like that we have uh, sap sd module components as well so first is master data so basically the master data uh, the data which can be used for any business transaction we can say that is master data and master data is a core data which is used to do certain business transaction okay so basically the master data is used to do certain business transaction and it is a core data core data of organization where we used to do certain so yes transaction like uh, mm, creation of sales orders uh, then generating quotations generating uh, mm, inquiry documents creating billing okay so we used to do this master data to do business transaction so the we, we have different types of master data like we have uh, customer master data pricing master data and material master data so then we have sales data so sap sd sls means sales data so sap sales data helps to handle the minute detail of every sale that is taking place okay so basically sap sales data helps to handle uh, and it helps us to maintain every uh, sale uh, that is going to take place in an organization so starting from recording the product to the customer pricing feedback everything is tracked using this module so the major functions of sap uh, sales module is uh, creating inquiry documents sales orders consignment scheduling agreement rush orders credits and debit memos okay so all these we'll discuss practically in the coming sessions so then we have uh, sap billing module so basically it helps uh, it is one of the most crucial part of a sales and distribution process so consumer are giving uh, or given a choice of paying via online or um, through any uh, uh, online media or through any cash okay at the time of delivery so this this is a specific module should this specific module should be keeping track of all the building data in a proper way so basically the building module in sd so helps us to track uh, uh, the building data uh, of the customer so the major functions of uh, building module is automatic or manual invoice creation so we used to create automatic uh, invoice creation or manual invoice creation based on the configuration part so the comprehensive set of building functions then real time integration with finance fully integrated and comprehensive pricing so then sap sd uh, we have a shipping uh, module so sales are always associated with shipping and delivery so basically sales is is, is always not associated doing the sales so they'll have to take care about the shipping and delivery part as well okay a product needs to be shipped correctly and delivered to the customer to maintain a better relationship with the customer so that's why it has to be handled by the sales so there are different methods of shipping and this must be tracked each delivery for each product this entire process from being shipped to delivery or return back is recorded using this module okay so the major functions of uh, shipping uh, module is shipping module we can say or we can say the component so it doesn't matter so generate shipping documents picking packing and inventory management transportation management and scheduling delivery scheduling return deliveries stock transfer then we have uh, 
sales support okay so basically from selling a product to maintain it for a process customers constantly interact with the sales team so this is very important they will have to they will interact with the sales team so because the sales department uh, will be taking care of entire customer uh, management so that's why so it is very important to give after sales supports as well that has to be maintained by sd module so that data exchange between the sales team and the customer while delivering support for a product is recorded and reported through this module okay now so we have uh, functionalities like uh, different functions of sales support are sales prospects contact persons competitors and competitive products sales activity and direct marketing so advantages of sd phd module is the benefits of using sd phd modules are it helps to track transaction of the sales and it keeps a record of sales data and also produces a report of team performance so sap sd captures all pre sales and post sales process information so it provides a defined process of sales and distribution so sap sd enables you to categorize diverse sales and their designated processes so it helps to it helps to effectively manage the documents related to sales in the system so that's all about uh, the sap uh, sd components what we have discussed so now we will see uh, sap sd org structure so basically sap we can say sap organizational structure or we can say sap enterprise structure okay so see this is nothing but uh, where we used to uh, define the sap sales and uh, distribution structure so each uh, specific module will be having their own organization structure where we are going to perform business transactions like we have <clears throat> in sd we have first structure is let's say we have hp group so i have taken uh, hindustan petroleum so let's say we have one group or we can say it is a client so we can say this as a client or group okay so hp is a group so under hp uh, under group or a client um, see this is nothing but a company so next we have company code so in the company code we see we can have say next we have uh, sales organization next we have distribution channel next we have division okay so let's say we have a hp group okay so um, we have a hp group so under that we have multiple company codes we can maintain multiple company codes okay so company code is a legal entity okay so one companies can have multiple company codes okay so multi multiple company codes it may be different locations it may be different type of business okay so where we used to uh, <clears throat> where uh, a group that is a company used to maintain all the consolidated reports see sales organization sales or we'll discuss what exactly the sales organization so let's say we have hp uh, group so let's say uh, we have sales organization where uh, they used to maintain all the sales related activity under one company code so like in india we have one sales organization in usa we have another sales organization it depends in different see it may be within the uh, country or outside the country as well so distribution channel we have wholesaler and retailer okay then see we can have see we can have multiple distribu uh, distributed channel or distributed channel under one sales organization so division uh, it may be say let's say we have um, H, uh, um, we have uh, electronics company so division it may be mobile division or it may be laptop division so a retailer it may be service we can say so we can have multiple uh, divisions under distribution channels so it depends on the company so what uh, how they are utilizing their organization structure to do their business transaction 
so here we'll discuss uh, individual see say, see basically uh, these are the major uh, these are the elements of sap sd so one is uh, sales organization distribution channel division sales area sales office and sales group so see this is see whenever uh, see most of the freshers you may get the questions uh, in the interview that what are the elements of sap sd you can say sales organization distribution channel division sales area sales office and sales group okay so we can uh, you can explain like what is sales area sales organization see sales organization uh, in sap sd module is highest level in the org structure okay when it comes to sap sd and is primarily responsible for carrying out monitoring sales so the primary responsible of sap sales organization is to carry out um, uh, and monitoring the sales selling and distribution services and materials are main main responsibilities of sales organization see sales organization can be national or regional as i have mentioned in the previous slide so distribution channel uh, according to the above graph we have understood uh, sap sd um, org structure a distribution channel can have one uh, sales organization while one uh, sales organization can have multiple distribution channel see distribution channel can be uh, wholesaler can be retailer or can be uh, trader okay so then division so when it comes to division division it may be the product line like uh, suppose if you are working with uh, we are dealing with electronics company it may be mobile division laptop division service division okay so then sales area sales area is the combination of uh, sales organization distribution channel and division sorry See sales office. So business often set up several sales offices apart from head offices or headquarters to reach the market in depth. See these sales offices are often located at different ge geographical location areas. So sales reporting can execute it with the sales office organization and need to analyze the business performance of sales offices. So then sales group. Sales group. Uh, it is a group of employee. We can say uh, where they are going to take care all the sales activity with respect to the uh, with respect to the product or we can say with respect to the departments. So where they used to update the sales data to the sales office or sales organization. Okay, so this is uh, the SAP org structure. So this see as I have shown you in this. So this we are going to create see this and uh, the company and company code will be created by FICO consultants in real time but in practice so uh, but during the training session i will be showing you how to create the company and how to create the company code so basically we use standard uh, company code so i will show you how to copy that so that's all for today's session so uh, in the next session, we'll be discussing about uh, the SAP uh, S4 HANA user interface. So how we need to start with SAP uh, server and how we are going to create this structure. Okay. So thank you very much. So stay tuned. I will be up.